What's up, y'all? Right, let's get on with this preview. Week 5. The 3-1 Cleveland Browns take on the 3-1 and one Baltimore Ravens. And... Ugh, I think this game just comes down to who the fuck are we gonna... Like, are we gonna show up on defense? If we, like... Uh, the Steelers, they scored... Uh, like... Almost, like, 20... Wait, how much? Like, 20 points? They scored 20 points. Should have been, like, 26. It was two missed field goals. Uh, that's <laughs> that's uh, it's pretty good, and they had Michael Vick, who would have had two touchdowns if Antonio Brown didn't drop a touchdown. So, um, do I see them doing better against Josh McCown and or Johnny Manziel? Let's let's get this straight. Josh McCown is a backup quarterback who is starting. Let's just let's just, let's just call it what it is. He is a backup who has the luxury of starting over Johnny Manziel. Um, can we? Like, he had a pretty good game last week. I'm not going to lie. It spooked me a little bit when I saw that. Um, man, this is... If I, I, you just need our defense to step their shit up. Cause they are fucking up. Jason Babin, he's been a waste of money if you ask me. Hasn't really doing. He hasn't really did anything. I don't think like he's been on like like two weeks. He can't learn the defense. Um, we need to rush the passer. We haven't like we haven't really been rushing the passer good at all. Like ever since week one, we have not rushed the passer like good. Period. We need our defense to step the fuck up. Because the offense is, I don't know what the fuck. If we were hurting that wide receiver before, oh, we are, we're fucking dead now. We're fucking dead. We're fucking zombies walking around. That's what we are on offense. Because Steve Smith is gone. He gave us life. And you took that away from us. You take that life away from us. Dead. We're done. Uh, we did trade for Chris Givens. When I first heard... We traded for Chris Givens. At first, I was like, the fuck? But then, I thought, I gave it some time. I thought about it. I was like, eh. Well, he does give us an element that we didn't really have before. That's a deep threat. I don't know how legit of a deep threat he is. I don't really, I didn't really watch him when he was in St. Louis. But, uh, from what I, from what I can, from what I read, and I looked at his rookie season when he was like, one of the main targets, he had a pretty good season. He had, like close to what Torrey Smith did, so I think that like I think he can he can really uh, he can really do something. And Highball said that he's gonna show up. Said that he's gonna you know he's gonna play something. He's gonna play. <laughs> man, uh, man, we we relying on guys like Chris Givens and Kamar Eakin. Not saying that they're not good. They're just unproven. That's the thing. I don't think that. The receiver we have are bad. They're just unproven. Crockett Gilmore, he's hurt. He was like one of the, well, I wouldn't say he was proven, but he's a guy that you can count on, that you know for a fact you can count on. Now we got we our rookie tight ends. I don't think we had that many rookie tight ends make an impact in a long time, ever since Pitta came. I don't even know. I don't even think Pitta caught a pass until, like, Late in his first, his first season, because that's I think we still had Todd Heat, but like I too got like our guy they're stepping up man Darren Waller caught his first pass last week, first pass as an NFL player I was like that's what's up and it was on prime time and it was on key drive, uh, uh what we don't need is the same thing was happening with Pittsburgh I feel like we got sacked five times in Pittsburgh. Guys, not guys weren't getting open. The offensive line, like they didn't recognize the blitz. It was like obvious blitzes, though. I was like, "Yo, I see them blitzing off the corner, Joe. I know you see this motherfucker right here. You bet not." And, and it happens. And it happens. You know, guys have they have guys you can't account for. I understand that. I get it. But we just got to be better than what we were. What the offensive line was. Well. In the past game, at least the running game, we need we need to see that again. What we did in the running game, we need to see the fucking push guy, like overpower guys on the line. Because I think the Cleveland Browns have one of the worst run defenses. If we can get the run, I think if we can get the run game, if we get Justin Forsett over a hundred yards, 
we win the game. I don't know about how much, but I think we win the game if we get over 100 yards. Man, <laughs> this is crazy. This is fucking insane. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's been a season like this where I really I didn't know what my team was going to do. I don't really, I didn't, I didn't think that, I don't, like, usually, like, I'll be like, all right, if I can't count on this, then I can, you know, I can count on this. Like, if I, if I couldn't count on the defense, then I knew I could count on the offense. That's how I was, that's how I was in the Super Bowl year. I knew, it, like, our defense wasn't really doing it, wasn't really doing it. And our offense kept us in games. Then, like, next year, then the very next year, our offense was fucking terrible. Ray Rice couldn't run for fuck sake and our defense we had shut like <laughs> Jimmy Smith was shut down corner. He shut down Megatron one day. Oh they one of Megatron's like top seasons we shut Megatron down. But man, that's what we need. We just we just need we need four set to step up, offensive line to step up and Joe Joe one <laughs> we need to cut down the turnovers man. If I look at if you look at every interception that Joe had, every interception is the exact same play. It's like a guy, it's like a guy turning, like turning the corner, and the other, like the, the defender, not turning the corner. What am I talking about? It was like, uh, like the defender and the uh, receiver. They'll be like in the same exact area, and the defender will be looking directly at Joe. Daring him to throw it. And Joe fucking throws it. Every time I was like, yo, I know you seen that motherfucker right there. What the fuck is you doing? I know you seen him. <sighs> Maybe the peripheral vision in the helmets is kind of, I don't know. Fuck. I'm just making excuses now. But you need to cut that shit out, man. Uh, yeah, but like I was saying, cut down the turnovers, run the football, protect Joe, defense show up. That's that's what we're gonna need, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm out. You could tell them that I've been from hell and back when the heat is on.